Hello, my name is Chris Germain, and I'm a professor in the computer science department at Rice. And beyond that, I'm the chair of the computer science department. And that really means that it's my job to make sure that things in computer science run smoothly. I'd like to spend a few minutes telling you a little bit about what CS at Rice is all about. And maybe dispelling some of the myths that you might have. So the first thing that I want to say is that computer science fundamentally is the study of algorithms. It is not fundamentally the study of programming. Now you might ask, what's an algorithm? Well, given a problem, an algorithm is the set of steps that I need to take to solve the problem. So just as an example, let's say that I wanna find the best route from Houston to Galveston, where best is defined in terms of the least amount of time. And to do this, let's say that I have access to Texas roadmaps, I have all of the traffic conditions in Southeast Texas. And now given this data, I wanna figure out the best route. That way of figuring out the best route, that is what's known as an algorithm. And so computer science at Rice fundamentally asks, given a problem, what are the principles that I need to be aware of in order to design an efficient algorithm to solve that problem, right? So CS is all about algorithm design. Now, it is true that we study programming. We spend a lot of time as CS majors studying programming. But that's simply because we typically have to ask computers to execute the algorithms that we design. Human beings have limitations that computers don't have, right? As human beings, we're not always fast thinkers. We make errors. We might get bored before we solve a problem and say, that's good enough and give up. So, as algorithm designers, we're fundamentally just stuck with trying to get our algorithms to run on computers, right? That's why we study programming. Programming is the way in which we tell a computer how to execute our algorithm. And I'll say it's not easy to get a computer to execute a complicated algorithm well. That's why we put so much effort into studying programming. But really, I think programming is more of a necessary evil rather than being the foundation of computer science. Algorithms are the foundation of computer science. Now, in keeping up with this, right, if you decide to become a CS major at Rice, the first course that you're going to take is a course called computational thinking. It's really an introductory algorithms course. Yes, you will do some programming in Python, maybe even a lot of programming in Python, but that's not fundamental. Really, what's fundamental is the computational thinking, the reasoning about how to solve problems computationally. In the second semester, we then move on and you take a course called algorithmic thinking. You can think of this as an extension of the first semester where it's a deeper and more formal study of algorithms and associated data structures, things like trees and graphs. And these things are covered in quite a lot of depth. As a matter of fact, many people say that uh, uh, this course, Comp 182, is the most difficult course that they take at Rice, but it's also the most rewarding. People love it. It's interesting that actually we don't really get into programming as being the core thing that we study at a course until the third semester where you take Comp 215. Comp 215. Okay. Now I'd like to close by addressing a final question, which is, has CS changed over the last few decades? And how do you see it changing for people who are entering Rice now as opposed to 10 or 20 years ago. And I would say that one of the biggest changes is not this focus on algorithms. That's always been the case. But rather, it's the focus on data. That's really a new thing, right? This is really associated with the rise of machine learning. And in machine learning, the task is that we want to develop smart algorithms, right? This is machine learning as a type of artificial intelligence that are able to learn over time. Maybe these algorithms look at massive data sets and figure out, use all this data to figure out how to solve a problem. Or maybe they actually explore their environment. They try stuff out and that's how they learn to solve problems, right? So the rise of data is a big change. And I wanna say, I'll close by saying that the CS department, probably during your time at Rice, is actually gonna be expanding our offerings in machine learning and in artificial intelligence. So um, currently, we don't have classes on things like vision and natural language processing, which are really core areas in AI, and those are going to be coming in the next few years. 
And so I would think about that by the time you're a junior or a senior, right, you're going to have an entire broad range of classes in machine learning in using algorithms or designing algorithms that use data in order to solve problems. And I think that's a really exciting development. So that's all I wanted to say. And um, I think it's great that you're at Rice. You should seriously become or consider becoming a computer science major. And we in the CS department are happy to answer any questions that you might have.